Welcome once again to part two of our discussion on ulcer and today we are going to take a quick look at the role of oranges on your ulcer or your chances of developing ulcer by taking oranges and um, I remember somewhere in 2010 I attended a, a, a lecture at the um, University of Ghana Medical School campus at Kolebu where someone who was delivering a lecture it was during the month of ramadan it was a ramadan lecture organized by ghana muslim Student association on Kolebu campus where um, the lecturer stated that when you're breaking your fast it is wrong for you to take an orange because it will give you ulcer or it can cause ulcer when you use oranges to break your fast actually i I disagreed with the, the, that position by the speaker and being in a medical school I had a lot of um, medical students at that time disagreeing with me this is about 11 years ago and my position on that has not changed and I normally take oranges when I'm hungry when I have it I take it on empty stomach and people are amazed when they see me do that say hey you want to get ulcer? Why are you taking the orange when you've not eaten it? But you said you're hungry. I said, yes, I'm hungry. So what? So why are you taking oranges when you've not eaten? The Ghanaian, the African has been made to believe that you need oranges to digest your food faster. And so it is better for you to take the oranges after you have eaten something. And this position is not backed by science. It's not backed by any fact whatsoever. In fact, it takes just about 15 to 30 minutes for the orange you take to digest and the food you take for instance rice or banku or fufu will need hours at least four hours in the stomach before it enters the small intestines and so when you eat the orange after eating solid cooked food what you're going to do is that you're going to delay the digestion of the orange and then the entire mass begins to ferment so the food you eat, because you eat the fruit after the meal, what's going to happen is that there's going to be fermentation instead of proper digestion. There's going to be fermentation and putrefaction. What it simply means is that the food is going to begin to rot and spoil in your belly because you have delayed the digestion of the fruit or the orange in this case. And so there is, there is no scientific basis for you to take oranges after you eat your meals. So what's going to happen is that fermentation is going to take place, the food is going to begin to spoil, and then you are, you are going to get bloated. You will get gases in your stomach. And what kind of gases are we talking about? We're talking about acidic gases that is going to inflame the internal lining of the stomach, and then it's going to leave you with ulcer. Strangely enough, all of the things that we are told not to do in order not to get ulcer, you know are the things that will protect us and prevent us from getting ulcer and for all those things that we are told to do and that will prevent the ulcer are the key culprits when it comes to stuff that cause ulcer and so i just want to make this clear clarification that taking oranges on empty stomach will never give you ulcer in fact when you take an orange a day or when you take one glass of oranges orange juice a day research and studies recently have shown that they are going to reduce in fact your incidence of getting the helicobacter pylori bacteria as the h pylori bacteria that is responsible for gastric ulcer yes after that encounter with my colleagues uh, my friends in medical school uh, or in the medical school. I was not a medical school student by then. And so I went ahead and did a lot more research because what I was saying at that time was based on facts that I know that there is no way taking oranges on empty stomach is going to cause ulcer. I, I challenged them at that time, at that event, that they should show me any scientific text, any textbook or any scientific journal or manual that blamed the consumption of oranges on empty stomach for ulcer and no one was able to provide that for me and they asked me how does that work at that time i did not have the information but i later on did my research and 
and I, I, I got more convinced that there is no way taking of orange on empty stomach is going to cause ulcer. Of course, when you fast for about 12 hours or more, the wisest thing to do, as has been taught by Prophet Muhammad, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, is that you break your fast with water first. But after you've broken your fast with water, there's nothing wrong with you taking oranges first. Yes, we will come to that aspect about how to break your fast later on. But for now, how is it that when you take orange on empty stomach, it does not contribute for you to get ulcer? I remember one of the medical students back then told me that it, there is there's something we call a risk factor. That taking oranges on empty stomach is a risk factor for you to get ulcer. And I told him, yes, give me any scientific journal, any material that lists oranges as a risk factor for ulcer. And to this day, 11 years on, I'm yet to receive any material that lists orange as a risk factor to, to the development of ulcers. And so let me delve into how orange works when you consume orange what happens you know i have also heard that argument that orange is acidic it's a citrus fruit and so it contains acid thankfully i was a science student and i studied some little organic chemistry there or some chemistry here and there and what we learned is that oranges contain what we call a weak acid we have organic acids and we have inorganic acids and organic acids are generally weak acid except the natural occurring organic acid that is inside the stomach that is the hydrochloric acid the hydrochloric acid and the normal circumstance is supposed to be an inorganic acid but it's the only inorganic organic acid that is inside the body and so if you cast your mind back to your basic junior high school science you were told that during digestion when the food reaches the stomach okay the stomach walls secrete gastric juice and alongside that is the hydrochloric acid that is released to mix with the food and what is the job of this hydrochloric acid the hydrochloric acid that is in our stomachs is supposed to fight off bacteria that is ingested alongside food so it kills the bacteria the viruses whatever at least those of it that it can kill it neutralizes them and why is it able to do that or how is it able to do that it's able to do that because it is a very highly concentrated acid it is it, it has a, 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 a high concentration it's a strong acid let me put it that way so that it can kill bacteria any acid that is supposed to kill a bacteria has to be strong so ask yourself that acid in your belly you should know that when it pours on your skin, it's going to burn you. Yes. And if you want proof of that, let me cast your mind back to a time when maybe you overate and then you had an acid reflux. If you don't know what an acid reflux is, it is when a little of the contents of the stomach tries to escape from the stomach through the pyloric sphincter and then it gets to your throat here. When, when some of the contents of the stomach escapes into your esophagus what happens into your throat what happens it it gives you an excruciating pain of some burning sensations over there that's acid reflux you see how painful that is it is being caused by the hydrochloric acid that is in the stomach that has mixed with the food that tried to escape that's how how painful it is and that's how strong that acid is now can you compare that acid to the acid in oranges when you pour oranges on your skin does it burn you no the stomach wall has been designed to withstand the strength of the hydrochloric acid in the belly and so the acid that weak acid that organic acid the citric acid in the orange is too weak to cause any change in the internal environment that is one reason why it is false that oranges will aggravate your your or will, will, will cause the ulcer number one number two let us take note that saliva in our mouth is alkaline it is basic it is a base and the acid in orange is a weak acid it is an organic acid 
and cast your mind back once again to your 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 junior high school science and you will learn that an acid reacts with a base to give you what salts and water only this means that when your saliva mixes with the with the orange juice and you swallow there's going to be a quick reaction and so by the time the orange juice enters your stomach it has been turned into salts and water there is no longer acid and if there is it's only a, a, a small quantity of acid that will escape the saliva and enter your stomach so it's not going to cause any problem it's just salt and water that is going to enter your stomach and so we will do the next video to further talk about how you can treat yourself of stomach ulcer and how you can prevent it from coming back completely but for now what i want you to understand is that if you do not have the ulcer if you have not been diagnosed of having ulcer taking oranges on empty stomach will protect you from developing ulcer because it will inhibit the growth of helicobacter pylori bacteria that is a bacteria responsible for gastric ulcers or stomach ulcers thank you for watching and watch out for the final part on ulcer